Today we're going to talk about crossovers, the beating heart of every speaker. It divides the frequencies up between the lows and perhaps the mids and the high frequencies. In this case here, we are going to talk about the Little Hero speaker. We've had a lot of inquiries about the crossover. I'm going to share as much information as I'm allowed to about this, but let's go ahead and begin with the simplest type of crossover, which is called a low pass first order filter. Now a first order filter is the gentlest filter of all. It presents a phase alignment, nearly that the same as the woofer. Um, in this case, we're using a rosewood board. We mount all our crossover components on a piece of rosewood or similar wood to help damp it, help adherence, and it just fits better and creates a better aesthetic. So here we are with what is called the first order filter. It's a simple coil. That coil is tuned to roll off the woofer at a certain frequency. The size of the coil determines the roll off characteristics of the woofer. So it's a really big coil, say like five millihenries. The woofer rolls off at a fairly low frequency. I don't know the exact number, but it's probably somewhere around 500 or 150 hertz or something like that. And we use a calculator to get it correct. That's the simplest form of filter, a first order filter. That is not what we use, but I'm just illustrating this. Up next is a second order filter. It is a steeper filter. It's used when you want the woofer to roll off a little faster so it does not interact with the high frequency tweeter or horn in this case. Um, it uses an additional component. This additional component is a capacitor. This capacitor goes from positive to ground or to negative. It assists in rolling off the frequencies as some of them are passed to ground. Steeper curve by double, rolls off faster, less interference. Again, this is not what we use. It's simply an illustration. The next filter, even steeper, third order filter. It uses a large coil, a capacitor to ground, and a small coil. The small coil adds an additional steeper curve. It rolls it off faster. This keeps the crossover and phase alignment again with the woofer. I was going to tell you that the second order filter puts it 180 degrees out of phase. But in this case, this is a phase aligned filter. A fourth order filter is used when you want very steep roll off. It uses an additional capacitor. That additional capacitor creates another path to ground. So you really have two second order filters here cascaded into each other. Very steep roll off. This is not a phase aligned filter. And just so you know, this is not the one we use. Most importantly, you're probably wondering, well, what about the horn? What's, what's the crossover for that? What does it look like? What does it do? Well, it's a first order crossover, which is the simplest crossover and provides phase alignment. What do we use in a first order crossover? Primarily, we use a simple capacitor. That capacitor is hooked up to the positive terminal. It determines the roll off frequencies for this lovely little compression driver, the CDF-171PK. And uh, with that said, there is a reduction network that we have set up that decreases the amount of voltage or audio signal that goes to it, allowing you to tune it to your home. There is also a resistor here, which is the second leg of the L-pad. The first leg of the L-pad is sitting on top of the speaker. You can adjust that. This one is non-adjustable and remains inside. And here's a little trick I'm gonna divulge to you here. This is a bypass capacitor. This capacitor allows you to bypass the resistor, thus allowing more high frequencies, say above 10 kilohertz to get to the compression driver because horns tend to roll off a little bit of the high frequencies because of the size of the horn. The bigger the horn, the more it does. In this case, we use a special capacitor to restore those high frequencies back to normal. So that basically is the whole ball of wax. What the values are, well, that's a secret, folks. I cannot divulge that. 
but let's just say it's taken a lot of testing and a lot of work to get it lined up properly. Um, so by the speakers, you'll hear the wonder. Thank you very much for listening and watching.